So the 60 year deal with Saudi Arabia to only use mm -hmm. uh, uh, and trade using the American dollar, forcing other companies to convert their money over oh. to American money to buy oil, oil from yeah. them, yeah. which helps America control inflation yeah, and all yeah. of that. They just like, nah, we good on that. We good on that. Mm -hmm. Dude, that, that's an act of war. Yeah. In God we trust gold, oil, and dope. Yeah. This country goes to war for gold, oil, and dope. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. telling you now. Yeah. And so uh, that is Saudi Arabia. They, they they got a tyrant and they need some democracy. That's what it is. <laughs> I already see. It. So uh, along with the leadership dollar situation, we're also funding like three other wars. Right. 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 That's, that have nothing to do with us. Ukraine, Taiwan. And it felt like it was somebody else. Israel. And Israel. Right? Look at them army trucks there, bro. Damn, there's a whole bunch of them. Well, I'm gonna slow down so you can... Look, I think that whole... So NATO is now in talks to deploy more nuclear weapons, with Stoltenberg saying that the alliance must show its nuclear arsenal to the world to send a direct message to its foes, and adding that NATO must flex its nuclear muscles and make sure it's understood that we are a nuclear alliance, with members taking missiles out of storage and placing them on standby as a deterrent. Right, you've got the U.S. currently modernizing their gravity bombs for nuclear warheads, and their European allies are modernizing planes which will carry the missiles and be dedicated to NATO's nuclear mission. And this is Russia, who created this problem for themselves by continuously threatening to use nukes, doing nuclear drills, and almost using one in the fall of 2022, they've condemned this, calling it an escalation of tension. With the Kremlin then lying by saying that Putin never talks about nuclear weapons at his own initiative as he takes the issue seriously. 